Well, right now, Disney's The Lion King is roaring at the Sanger Theater. And today, cast members from the hit Broadway musical made their way to the Audubon Zoo to meet some of the animals that they play in the show. WGNO's Kenny Lopez joins us now from the zoo. Hi, Kenny. Hey, Seth. Hey, Peyton. Ain't no lion. We are here at the Audubon Zoo making our rounds, checking out all the animals. It's all part of the circle of life. We're with the cast of the hit Broadway musical, The Lion King. And uh, tell me, who do you guys play in this wonderful show? Well, I am a singer in the ensemble, and I cover Nala, Sarabi, and Shenzi. Wow, okay. And who do you play? I think you can probably guess once you hear his voice. <laughs> My name is Gerald Ramsey, and I play Mufasa. <laughs> Say that again. Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> and Mufasa, I got a question for you. There's a very important scene in the show when Simba and Mufasa are talking to each other and you take off your mask. I wonder, why did you take off your mask and you became, I'm like, you weren't wearing the Mufasa headdress anymore. Why was that? It's one of the core designs of the show. There's a duality of our animal side and our human side. So when Mufasa takes off his mask, now it's just a dad talking to his son. I think that's what connects the show, I think, to people for the past 20 plus years. Yeah, it's definitely a bond show between all the characters. And uh, you're here at the zoo. You're checking out these animals. Yes. Seeing these animals, how do, does it make you feel when you see these animals? How does it help you relate to the, your character when you see these animals live here? Well, the lionesses, they are very majestic and they're the hunters. So when I'm watching them, I'm really connected in how they're walking, the weight of how they walk. And so when I'm on stage, sometimes it reminds me to be really grounded. So yeah, watching them helps me with that. Yeah, and we're here at the lion exhibit at the Audubon Zoo, and they have three female lions and two lion cubs. Um, they kind of look like Simba to me, don't you think? And get this, the zoo brought them out some special treats today. You see over there, the treat that they all like? That is a goat milk salmon popsicle, and all the lions are fighting for it. And there's also some watermelon and some honeydew. These animals are just absolutely beautiful. And so last thing, what do you want people to know about the show? It's really a show that's not like any other show. There's a lot of puppetry. There's a lot of lessons you can learn within it. It is a classic, but there's also a lot of African elements we've added within the show. So you just should just come out. Even if you haven't seen a show, it's a really good show to see for the first time. And Mufasa? I think if anywhere can appreciate what Lion King brings, it's New Orleans. We bring culture and we bring spirit. And it's deep and it's a lot of people from around the world who've come together and they've created something very, very special, man. Very special. Well, thank you guys for being here. We're going to enjoy watching the lions eat. And I think there's only one more thing to say, Seth and Peyton, and that is Hakuna Matata. <laughs> it means no worries. Yes. <laughs> it was a great show. We actually it just was. caught it a couple days ago. Fantastic. Yes.